Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at uh, Blackmagic Designs DaVinci Resolve and what the differences are between the free version and the paid studio version. So Resolve has been around for quite some time now. Uh, it started out as specifically a color grading application. It's added visual effects with the um, addition of Fusion. Um, it's added some pretty sophisticated um, sound uh, authoring capabilities with the uh, inclusion of Fairlight. And it continues to improve on its editing capabilities. Most people know it comes in two flavors, the, the free version, which is free. Uh, all you need to do is register on the Blackmagic website and a more expensive $300 studio version that enables some more sophisticated grading and VFX features. So what I thought I'd do today is go through what those are and whether or not uh, I think it's worth the step up um, to DaVinci Resolve Studio. So there are a couple of things in DaVinci Studio that are probably worth the price of the upgrade. Um, the first one, is hardware acceleration because once you upgrade to studio you are able to now um, use your gpu for media playback so in my normal copy uh, in my normal copy resolve i got about three frames per second and as you can see in um, the studio version i get actually a little bit jelty but pretty close to real-time playback but uh, i want to show you some other things I'm going to add a node here between my um, my normalization and my grade. I'm going to go open effects and write face, face refinement. Drag that across and hit analyze. In this node, I can um, turn the overlay off because it's distracting. And then I have all these amazing um, controls. I have this basic one here, which is smoothing. Um, I have, I can add or subtract detail. I can add or subtract contrast. And again, it's, it's just on the face, but what's probably, um, the fine controls, um, I can increase or decrease saturation. I can tint it, um, purple or green. I can desaturate just the shadows. I can take the shine away. Then we can get into the eyes. I can sharpen just the eyes. I can brighten just the eyes. Good HDR look. I can add a light not just to the pupils and the um, whites, but to the entire eye area, which is a really great way of um, making uh, adding a beauty light. And I can even take away the uh, or blur out the bags under people's eyes. And you know, if you're working in any kind of beauty space, if I click um, Apple D, I'm turning on this enhancement and look it's it's really striking and what's great is that then follows her through the entire shot it's um, cheaper than Botox you can change the color of the lipstick um, or just to generally increase the saturation you can smooth the upper lip you also have controls in the blush and the cheeks face retouching is pretty huge and, and Premiere doesn't have anything that um, comes close but let's look at some other effects this is the other one I use the most. So here's a clip of Carlos Amando and I working on our uh, red test. And if I go into 300% um, here, you can see that it is really noisy. Um, this was shot in a P4. Look at the, the brick battery of the red is just crazy, crazy noise. Now, um, it was in the shade. It was shot in a P4. I'm going to add another node. Um, and here in my motion effects tab, going to go for two frames and turn this up to 20 and the spatial up to 10. It's gone and it'll even play back in something close to real time. See the, the battery that was, you know, kind of a looks like fireworks. It was so noisy is now clear as day. If I toggle this on and off, you can see how much work that noise reduction is doing and how fast even on my, you know, pretty crappy, 2015 iMac it's playing back in uh, you know pretty close to real time and in the wide everyone's face is still smooth there's still a lot of sh there's still plenty of sharpness DaVinci Resolve Studio also has a bunch of added options it can accept um, 
high efficiency video codec or H.265 and edit with it. Um, it can output in all kinds of other flavors, um, all kinds of other sizes and scopes um, than the regular. It can do other frame rates, uh, including um, above 60p, so 120 and 300p timelines you can um, handle with Res DaVinci Resolve Studio. It does seem like a lot of money, um, but if you think about Premiere and uh, Photoshop, the um, Creative Cloud Suite, being about $25 or $26 a month, you know, in a single year, you can get DaVinci Resolve Studio and convert yourself to a non-subscription model uh, editor and grading and visual effects and audio editing um, thing. So you'll basically you buy it once and you'll never have to pay for it again. That is my look at the added features you get in DaVinci Resolve 15 Studio Edition. For my workflow and the jobs that I work on, it is almost a necessity for me. Um, I really, really love these features, uh, especially the face grading tool, the noise reduction, but most of all the GPU acceleration because it increases the speed at which I'm able to grade and output my videos uh, exponentially. Hopefully that was helpful for someone out there. Definitely check the links in the description to find out more about DaVinci Resolve, the different panels that you can get that go with this, um, the different accessories that I use. But I encourage everyone out there to investigate this more, um, watch other reviews and find out whether or not um, the upgrade is gonna work for you. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.